Good morning, good morning. This is welcome to my shop. Sawlogs Plastic Cups. Uh, the last video of the slop in the shop. This is another, are you going to be seeing the slop in the shop? So I'm just doing a new intro for the rest of it from now on for a while until I decide to change it. So this is slop the shop. This is the things I'm doing. I'm got two or three projects most of the time going on instead of trying to make videos for each project dedicated I've decided just to take the videos of what I'm working on and hitch it might be a compilation it may be one project uh, so that's going to be what the slot the shop is so enjoy This brake rotor is going to be my grinder stand, and I've just got it sitting out here in the yard, drying. The shop is getting a little warm this morning, getting it warmed up before I come out. So the grinder stand again. This is kind of why I didn't want to make a dedicated video because it's so much stuff I wanted to be doing to the grinder stand, and, or to the grinder, and do it in pieces. And I just figured, well, I'm so many other things I'm doing in the process. So that's kind of the reason why I've done it in the other format. But there he is, the brake rotor. And the truth is, that's not, I don't know what it's off of. Uh, local shop that does some of our work. Uh, I had sent the Buick in and have front brakes and I figured they'd replace rotors and I asked the mechanic, uh, the owner of the business, I said, hey, dude, didn't you, oh no, I could turn them. Well, darn it, I was the one the rotor. <laughs> he said, you need a rotor? I said, yeah, I will make a grinder or I will make a stand. So he said, I've got just, I'll get you one. He just come out there and hand me this one. I have no idea what it's off of. We, uh, I don't like, I'm not much of a torch person and torches in the other building, so. We've cut us a place, I have some a piece of steel, and I cut it off, and I welded it to it, and I primered it up, and it's sitting out here drying. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to center this and drill it in that one. That's going to be the grinder stand. Uh, the pipe here was what our satellite dish, or not, our internet dish was on before we went back to cable internet. So. And that's some heavy wall tubing. I was really surprised. It's sort of messy this morning, isn't it? Um, I just wanted to show you something. I left my stand outside to dry uh, yesterday, and it's still good. So there's my stand uh, for the grinder. It's got a little bow in the top. I think that thin metal bend a little bit. You notice I got the four little holes drilled. So that's ready to go when I get eBay purchase. I seen this on eBay. I don't know if I'll be able to use it till I may have to buy another press some of these, but it's a brooch. And the main thing is it was a, it's an old Minuteman set, which is you know Dumont, which is good. Um, the one three sixteenth here is pretty good shape. It's got a five six, it got an eight, and a five thirty second with it and then it's got some other ones it's like it's got a couple of shop a one shot made bushing with it look like this brooch here has been broken and uh, somehow top of it i really don't know what size looks like it's maybe a quarter inch brooch so uh basically i just you noticed the other week when I was making that, I, I, I usually the smaller keyways I have a need for. So, I seen this on eBay and the price was just really good. And, it was, you know, it was reasonable. And, so I decided to go ahead and buy it. So, that's the a latest purchase right there. We kind of back up again hopefully if I didn't get you out of it and it came today and it's sitting in a bag outside in the rain uh, I was walked out to the mailbox today I've been having a bit of a lazy day in the shop today I've worked so hard I'm being retired why am I working so hard well anyway 
Uh, Chris got an appointment this afternoon for some injections, and I'm going to take go back and pick her up. And I didn't really want to get metal and some stuff. So, anyway, I was walking out the shop, and I went out there and mounted a grinder. I'm going to actually shoot, shoot a picture of that in a second. And uh, uh, basically, the mail ran, and these two drills come. And I'm going to, you know, being retired, you got to watch your budget. But I needed a couple of larger drills. When I got into doing the hair dryer projects, when I run into this, so I had to bore so much out. So this is an inch and a half, and this is an inch and a quarter. <coughs> a reduced shank. And since I, I'm just going to use reduced shank on everything, since I don't do that much machining. So here's what I'm doing. These came today. <coughs> I got them off of a, of a different site. And... Uh, they actually ship them from the United States. They're probably a Chinese drill, considering I didn't pay, but <coughs> about 60, 60 bucks for the two of them. But I've had some decent results with these things. Uh, if you, you know, you'll see some of my videos where I've been working on tools, and uh, you'll see that I drill in them tool holders with some of the same bits, and they're pretty hard stuff drills. So... It's just another item for the slot in the shop video. I don't know how this is going to come out, or it's going to be on a video or not. Uh, <coughs> but uh, here, you see sitting back there is one of the boring bars, and i got to make adjustment nuts. And also, I'll run out of dovetail cutters. This is another one in my box. It's that right there that needs to be milled. I, ain't, I just put those drills in there. just walked in. But... I'm going to try to get you a view. This is the grinder and the stand and where I'm going to leave it at. And since, since my plug ins here, I'll just move that plug in as needed. Now I'm ready. I've got the top guards that came that, that I've got the grinder. These, these are probably not bow doors, but I'm going to use them. And uh, I've got a set of wheels on a cheap Cummins industrial grinder. It's out in the other building. And I'm, they're real good wheels I ordered from Inco and put on that grinder. And you might have even seen the video of me working with it way, way back if you look at my videos when I was in, living in Kings Mountain in the other building. So basically what I did is necessity is the mother of invention sometimes. And, um, and, and I'm going to yammer on as I'm moving around here. The vise that I picked up at the auction, I need to sweep the bench off, smell it. And I've got three or four yardsticks. And it just dawned on me that sometimes you just want quick, dirty measurement. So I just took one of the yardsticks. So these have been around a while. This is actually a plastic one from, well, National Welders is actually uh, air gas now. So um, that's kind of the deal there. Let me just, uh, okay, and uh, so I was going while I'm looking at that, let me just set this camera here, and I'll back up a second while I'm talking, see if you can see me. Whoa, uh, you know my shop's kind of small sometimes, so one of the things that I'm going to close this, one of the things that I'm working on is the reason why I'm going to do about the other grinder I'm undecided with my little grinder. I really, 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 really wanted to. I, I, I don't. So I couldn't resist the bow door. And actually, I'm going to put stands and use it for like a more of a tool, big drills, such as that sharpening grinder. I'm not going to grind a piece of cold steel on it. That's just not happening. The little craftsman over here is what I'm going to use for that. And I'm going to leave two wheels on it. And my plan is I may try to figure out a space in the shop to bring the other grinder, this uh, Cummings grinder. And if you ever heard of Cummings, they run these tool sales. And I bought the grinder at a Cummings tool sale many years ago. So it never has been. It's always vibrated. And so just like this bow door here, that sucker here, it really don't need to be screwed down. But I went ahead and, and when I made the bracket, it, I drilled four holes and put this wood screws to hold to the floor because you know they do have wood floor here. So 
uh, that's kind of the update and hopefully this will probably be the last piece of the slot in the shop video that I'm going to put together sometime here soon. So I, I appreciate the people who are watching my channel and the subscribers I do have. I mean, I'm not into this to get a lot of subscribers, but it, it'd be nice to have enough to get some money. Uh, my channel's so small that I'm going to be cut out of ad revenue soon. Probably by the time this is sometime next week or so. And uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, I've been, now that I'm retired, I've been trying to put more content out. I've been trying to look at links and put more things to get, you know, more eyeballs on our channel. And I'm not sure that it's, you know, the, my, this is not a complaint. I'm not sure that it's just, it's just probably a saturation of people who do what I do. There's so many different choices out there. Uh, I look at a lot of different people. And myself, I, I run across them and see them. But the, 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 the cold hard truth about it is there's a lot of good providers out there of YouTube creations and, and, and videos. Uh, I try to do more of this the guy who just piddles around in his own shop even though I do have you know a machining experience and you know, I'm not completely ignorant and uh, sometimes I do things simpler too because of it's just easier so again as I put on my channel you know the youngs who watch my channel subscribe to the channel you know turn me on to your friends who's watching some of these other bigger channels give them a Tell them this guy here is out here working in a shop doing what we do. And, you know, see if we can get, you know, some more people involved or watching. Comments are always welcome. And I really love my commenters and, and, and the, the couple of three, four people who regularly comment on my videos. I really appreciate it. So now I'm done ranting and uh, I'm going to go in the house and take it easy the rest of the day. So we'll see.